happy happy new year to all of you how are you doing it's been a while since i posted an informative video and this is going to be my first for 2023 i am so excited for this year i am feeling positive and i can't wait to see what it has in store for all of us even though it is a new year, I will definitely keep you posted on any updates related to immigration and I will still be sharing with you our life experiences here in New Zealand. First of all, for those of you who are new, my name is Chi Chi and though I have mentioned that I do share about immigration updates, please be informed that I am not an immigration lawyer not an immigration advisor nor connected with any agency related to immigration or bringing people here in new zealand i have been receiving questions if i can support them or i can help them with regards to going to new zealand i would really really encourage you to go to someone who is authorized to give you a hand to come here to new zealand and i also encourage people to do their own research we need to read about whatever visa you'd like to apply. And of course, don't forget, I've got my videos in my channel. You are most welcome to watch it anytime and to share it to people who may benefit from them. Anyhow, for today, I will be sharing with you the process on how to apply for an accredited employer work visa. All the information I'll be sharing today has come from someone whom I know who applied for an accredited employer work visa. She did make her application last November 2022 and is still currently waiting for Immigration New Zealand's decision for her application. I think it does take about up to 41 working days that is currently posted up on the Immigration website. That's a time frame for the application process, but I think it's a case-to-case -case basis situation especially if you need to provide more requirements or any documents that Immigration New Zealand would require or if you need to repeat your medicals and things like that. Sit back and relax guys and as I always say, keep on watching! So before I go ahead and share the step-by-step -step process, I would like to remind everybody that you may only apply for an AEWV if you do have a job offer from an accredited employer here in New Zealand. And if you do plan to pursue your application, make sure that you do have a Realme account. Once you've got everything sorted, you've got your Realme account, you do have your job offer, then... The first thing you need to have for you to proceed with your application is your job token. What is a job token? This is actually a link that will be sent to you by Immigration New Zealand once your employer has finished the job check process. Click on that one and then go to your Realme account, log in. After that, you will see under My Visas another link. And then click on that link, which will lead you to the application of the visa now it is application time and this is the part where you are to provide your supporting documents when i say supporting documents make sure that they are all in pdf file format and when you go click that link you'll see everything that is required from you immigration is pretty straightforward so it's easy to fill it up you would be asked about your personal details, your job offer information, your employment history, your education history, your character details, information if you have consulted any immigration advisor or lawyer. For this part, you would need to provide your general medical and also your chest x-ray. Make sure guys that you do double check the list of accredited clinics in your area from the Immigration New Zealand's website because not all the clinics and not all the hospitals in our country or in your area are accredited by Immigration New Zealand. Moving on to this one, my source did share to me that she went to St. Luke's and prior to her scheduled appointment, she just went online and after that, you'll receive a verification email just to verify the email that you've used. Then she received a confirmation email, so it was just stating the date, the time, but then that doesn't mean that she already got that slot for herself. Until she paid the amount, 
required of her and i think they only allow payments received by security bank once you have paid you will receive the barcode with your confirmation of appointment which you need to print and bring on the date of your schedule in the case of my source she did her medicals even before she applied for her visa but then if you don't think that is a good idea for you. You may also do your medicals after you have lodged your application. It's pretty much time limited because the medicals are only valid for three months. It's either before you apply for AEWV or after. Another thing that you will be queried on when you make the application for AEWV is your dependents. I have been seeing questions online and some people are asking me if they can do make the application for their dependents and the AEWV at the same time. The answer is yes. According to my source, when you go to my sponsorships, which is on the top right of your immigration account, you would be able to see a link that you can click if you would like to include your dependents in your application. But then that link will only be out there up to 72 hours. If in case it was later than 72 hours that you have decided, oh yes, I think I'll bring in my dependents with me when I go to New Zealand, then you can still do it, but it's a different process. Go to Immigration New Zealand's website to begin with, and then you choose the appropriate visa that you will be applying for your dependent. Now, when it asks you to log in, you should still log in using the principal applicant's details. So that means if you were the one who are applying for AEWV, you are to log in using your username and your password. Guys, before I end this video, I would like to mention the different statuses that you can actually see during the application process. You might see preparing application, you might see gathering information, you might see under assessment and when you see under assessment that means you're nearly there and if it's approved that's it guys so that's how you do apply your aew visa it may sound pretty easy the way i share it but i know it does take hard work to be able to be successful with your visa application because I have been there as well. I was once an applicant for a work visa when I left the Philippines. Just do what you need to do. Just provide what you need to provide. So good luck to all of you who have applied for AEWV. And congratulations to those who have already been approved. Hopefully you get to share this video so we can also get the information spread out around the world. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate your time. And... I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.